Okay, now what I came to say, to talk about, um, one way that people get infected is from USB flash drives. If you start out with a computer that's infected, you stick a flash drive in here, very likely the infection will spread onto here and then onto your computer. Um, the current latest worm, which is called Configure and Down It Up, it's got and another name too, I think Kadaro or something. Um, this is one of the three ways that it spreads. But that's not the only one. Uh, malware has been spreading on USB flash drives for a very long time. There's a solution for this from Microsoft, and the solution is god-awful miserable. It's impossible to understand, it's missing patches, and it's totally incomplete. However, there's a hugely elegant solution, and that's what I'm going to describe now. But first, I want to illustrate the problem. If there's malware on here, it can't actually do anything unless it tricks you into running it. So I'm going to show you briefly what these tricks are, so that at least you can be aware of it. And then I'll actually fix the machine, and you'll see how it, the change it makes. OK, this is autoplay. No doubt everyone has seen this a million times. What you haven't seen, however, is the top line here, the one that says run paint from USB drive. I put that there. I put that there to illustrate the tricks that the bad guys do. The point being, that top line, which I'm just not a bad guy, so it's a very simple thing. There's a copy of paint on here, and if you click that, it'll actually just run paint that's on here, but it could very well be something nasty. Um, this is the safe one. Open folder to view files here. So what do the bad guys do? The bad guys will copy that text, they'll copy that icon, and they'll put it and it shows up right at the top. It says open folder to view files. And you're not opening the folder to view the files. You're actually executing something malicious. Now, here I'm just, I'll just show you that. If you click on that, it runs paint. Big deal. Uh, but that, that's one of the three tricks the bad guys use. Another trick they use is here you're in my computer. And you see that the flash drive is, a, is the D disk. You see I've called it testing auto run auto play. Obviously that comes from here too. So anything you see there, be aware. If it says like my stash of porn, you say, oh, I got to see that. Realize that's just malware trying to tempt you. Um, now everyone knows if I double click on this at this point, it's going to list all the files and folders on the flash drive. That's another trick the bad guys use. Notice it didn't list the files and folders, it ran paint. And it ran paint off the flash drive. Again, that's another trick. Um, so, in fact, if you follow Microsoft's instructions at one point, you would still get, even if you did everything right from Microsoft's instructions, you would still get infected from this trick. Because for a long time they had a bug in their software. Um, and this is another way that they can infect you, is if you right click on it in my computer, You'll see there's options such as open and explore and all these other options. The malware can also modify this menu. And you see I've modified it here in the top line. It says, it's called a context menu. It says testing context, run paint from you. I put that there. Now I put a brand new entry there just to illustrate it. But what the bad guys could do is simply redefine the entry for open or redefine the entry for explore so it actually runs the malware as opposed to invoking Windows Explorer and showing you all the uh, files on the flash drive. So these are the tricks that an infected USB drive uses to get you to run the software there. Yes? Maybe, maybe not. You're playing chicken is what you're doing. Maybe the malware is something your suite knows about, maybe it's not. Okay, so the, the ultimate fix for this is a very simple zap. Now, in this case, I didn't modify the Explorer, so this is really showing it to me. Uh, it looks like... I'll edit it so you can see it. This is just a zap to the registry. It's a very simple three-line file. It's a .reg file, and when you double click on a .reg file, it zaps the registry. So what this says, and I fully don't understand it, but what it says is very, very simple. 
the, all those tricks came from a file on the flash drive called autorun.inf. Everything starts there. Um, so what this says is never, ever, ever, ever look at any autorun.inf file. You're totally protected. Yes. Never, ever, ever look at any autorun.inf file, even on CDs. Yes. That's another problem with the Microsoft solution is that CDs are treated differently than flash drives. Not here. <laughs> So this is a full, total, guaranteed, nothing is ever going to automatically run, nothing's ever going to trick you into running off any kind of removable device. You'll see what it means. You'll see what it means right now. To install it, it's, you just, you just double click on it. Windows says, are you sure you want to actually zap the registry? You say, yes, I'm sure. It says, okay, I zap the registry. And now you're going to see the difference. I'll remove this flash drive. Nothing up my sleeve. And now when I reinsert it, you see autoplay still runs. Autoplay is not the problem. Autoplay is a feature of Windows XP, a feature of Vista. In and of itself, autoplay is not the problem. Nothing happens automatically with autoplay. But notice here, the top line is, is, you know, just to play with media player. There's no more zap of the top line. That, that trick has now been rendered neutral. So there's no way now that the bad guys can put in their own phony open folder to view files. They can't do that trick anymore. This is now the legitimate one. Um, and you'll see here in my computer that's now called removable disk, D. It doesn't have the name that I gave it. And if I double click on it, it shows me the files. It doesn't run paint anymore. So I am totally protected here. Oh, and I, if I right click on it, You'll see that that zap also doesn't apply. You don't see that extra line that I put there. See, it says to run paint from the USB. That's not it. So I, I can no longer control this context menu either. You're totally protected. Excuse me? I ran that three-line REG file, that zap of the registry. No. This is not built into Windows, and again, the Microsoft description, the Microsoft solution for this is miserable, beyond all unbelievable. Uh, where can you get this file? You can get it from here. Um, I blogged about it. So if you go to blogs.computerworld.com, you'll see, um, and you'll see it's, I blogged about it about a month ago or so. I can post it to the NYPC website. Yeah, it's a three-line file. Um, highly, highly recommended for everyone. And there is no downside to it. If, if something goes wrong and you want to undo it, in the blog I show you how you can undo it too. It's not a big deal. Um, the, the blog address, if you can see it here at the top, it's just blogs.computerworld.com, and then you can look for me. Now, as far as software goes, and that's all it is. That's all it is. This is ingenious. I mean, to us computer nerds, this is as logically genius as E equals MC squared is, especially if you've ever dealt with trying to turn off auto run and auto play using the Microsoft instructions, which are as convoluted as can be, <laughs> and don't fully solve the problem either. 